So, you're passionate about research and you want to add new knowledge to your field. Well, do a PhD. Hello, my name is Manur and I'm a second year PhD student at Oxford University. Today, I wanted to talk about the reasons why you should do a PhD. So, if you're thinking of doing a PhD, there are a few questions you should ask yourself. Firstly, why do you want to do it? Is it the doctor title? Is it because you think you will get a better job or a higher pay if you become a PhD doctor? Well, that might or might not be true, but these should not be your reasons for choosing to do a PhD. Because a PhD is a long journey with a lot of ups and downs and you don't always get the results easily. Whatever type of field you are in, getting results in a PhD is quite cumbersome and you might get tired. There will be days when you feel like not doing anything. There will be weeks at the end where you don't get any results or any kind of progress. And there is a lot of hard work involved. Like with any other thing in life, if it is worth it, if it's going to give you benefits, it will come with a lot of hard work. So let's dig into the top reasons that you should consider before you decide to do a PhD. So the first and foremost reason why you should do a PhD is that you are extremely interested in doing research. You love uncovering new knowledge, you love experimenting, finding results, you love diving deep into whatever is known, asking questions and searching for answers. If you are that kind of person and you enjoy that process, then you should definitely be doing a PhD in your field. Because finding new knowledge or diving into research and asking questions is something that is the ultimate trait of a PhD student or a researcher. So if you want to become that kind of a person or you already have these traits, then you should definitely do a PhD. The second reason that you should be doing a PhD is that you want to have a career in academia. If you want to become a professor, if you want to be continuously associated with that field and teach it to others, supervise others, or you just want to be associated with that kind of research environment where you get to supervise others and remain associated with the academic life, then you should definitely do a PhD because success in academia depends upon your degrees, your master's and PhD. If you want a career in academia, you should definitely do a PhD. I mean, a PhD does not restrict you to an academic career. You can absolutely choose to do something else after your PhD. But if you want to go into academia, a PhD is a must in most fields. You might get away with teaching in certain fields without a PhD. But if you're considering doing a PhD and academia is your goal, then definitely go for it. I mean, I don't think there's any other way around. If you want to excel in academic career, if you want to become a professor, supervise others, then you have to do a PhD in your respective field. The third reason for doing a PhD is that you have a passion for learning new skills because a PhD teaches you a lot of new skills. No matter what field you belong to, if you decide to do a PhD, it teaches you a lot of new skills, techniques, whatever field you are in, you get to learn new technology applications, new ideas and challenges come along your way and you learn a lot. So if you are someone who enjoys that process, who loves learning new skills and developing themselves, then a PhD is for you. You should absolutely consider doing a PhD if this is one trait that is ingrained in you. And on that note, the fourth reason is that you love asking questions and taking on challenges. So the thing is, the most important trait of a PhD student is that they ask questions and they try to find gaps in knowledge and then they have the zest to find the answers to those questions themselves. Of course, you will need a lot of help. Of course, you will need training as a student. But these are some of the traits that you should have. If you love asking questions, if you love challenges, because a PhD journey is a long and challenging journey. If you love that kind of an environment, that kind of a challenge, then definitely go for a PhD. It is the right degree for you and it is the right professional pathway for you because if you get afraid of challenges, if you like having consistency, then you will not enjoy a PhD. But if you like those challenges that come along your way, I'm not saying that it is all challenging. They're good and bad days, but it is challenging. 
you might not always get the answers that you're looking for. There is no given solution or a pathway that you could follow. You have to make your own path as a PhD student. So if you like that, if you like having the liberty to explore, to ask questions and to find answers to those questions in the way that you enjoy, then you should definitely be doing a PhD. Another important thing to consider while deciding whether you should do a PhD or not is that you should enjoy academic writing because whatever field you are in, PhD requires writing. You will not only be required to write a large thesis about 50 to 60,000 words at the end and along the way if it's literature or history, but apart from that, you will also have to write papers, grant applications, conference papers, research articles, review articles, a lot of applications and there's just stuff that comes along your journey and academic writing is a must skill for a PhD student. You will have to indulge in a lot of writing throughout your PhD journey. So if academic writing is something up your street and it is something that you enjoy truly, then you should definitely be doing a PhD. Apart from these given reasons and these given traits, it should ideally be you who decides what you want to do. You should first judge yourself. I mean, not judging in a negative way because when one judges themselves, it's in a negative way mostly. But you should ask questions to yourself genuinely before you decide to do a PhD. Are you willing to be committed to one particular research topic or one particular research area for three or four years or five years? Are you committed to doing that work even if you fail a lot of times, even if... You cannot go home, you cannot travel if you are going to do your PhD in another city or country. Are you willing to put the time in? Are you willing to face the failures that come along? And are you willing to have a full-time job? Because a PhD is a full-time job. It's not 9 to 5. It's full-time. I mean, it can be weekends as well. It can be up till late night as well on days. It's not always like that, but that can happen. So you must be ready for that and if you are ready then definitely go ahead and do a phd i mean i'm right now only in my second year of a phd but these are things that i have picked up from my experience and these are questions that i asked myself when i wanted to start a phd so i did ask myself why i wanted to do a phd and the thing was that the project that i was choosing or the research area that i was choosing could not be approached or could not be explored further without a PhD because it is something highly advanced in my niche in my area of interest and without a PhD I would not have been able to progress or learn those skills so I did want to learn those skills as well so that was my second reason I am not sure up till now whether I want to go into academia or not that seems like a daunting thing to me it is one of those things that I haven't yet decided, but we'll see what happens. All the other questions were pretty clear to me. So this is how I decided I wanted to do a PhD. And this is what I have seen in my first year as a PhD student, how people decide how passionate they are for learning new skills and what they bring into the lab or onto the table when they come for doing a PhD. So if you think you have these traits, if these are your reasons, then definitely go ahead and do a PhD. If you think there is something that I've missed out and you think it is a good reason to be mentioned while choosing to do a PhD, please comment down below and I would love to have a chat with you. There are obviously reasons why you should not do a PhD, but maybe we'll talk about the negatives some other day. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.